Cool. So I'm just trying to work out which one to put our cool little um, honeycomb circles on. I've got a couple of really strong hives here and I'm I'm thinking I'm going to go with the second to end one because that looks pretty strong and I reckon we'll under super it. We'll put the put the um, cones sort of in the middle of the honey so we'll have to shake the gels off off the brood comb that's in there and put the clean excluder in and then we'll put that in the middle and hopefully we'll come back in a month or so and have some honey which would be kind of groovy. Don't know, I've no idea what a circle of honey's worth but we'll find out when we get that far. Anyway, we'll get the get the kit out the back. See whether we got this organised. A little bit of Cirrusel engineering. <laughs> Hell, I hope this is a bloody eight-frame box. I didn't even think of that until just then. I don't know. We might be in awful sort of trouble, but we can cheat on these ones because they've got the lips. So that'll work. It'll still be alright. We'll still make it happen. Go over here. <laughs> Anyway, this one looks like it's pretty hectic, so we might put it on that, I reckon. We'll just give them a little... Oh my goodness. Might have to get the lad to help me miss that off. My goodness me! It's a nectar festival! What are we doing? What are we doing, chicks? Are we doing too much up here or what? Crazy up, busy up the top. It's really heavy though. Unless they've just got a lot of stores on board and they didn't need them all. Which they have. They've got shitloads of honey on here. So we'll just double check to make sure there's no brood up the top. Which I don't think there is. But there's a bloody stack of honey up here. Oh, that's bloody bloody interesting, isn't it? Oh, you girls, why do you just chill out and you didn't even have to eat any food? Oh, mm. they must have been dining out. Oh, now there's a little bit of there's a little bit of little bit of drone cone coming up the top there. And we just messed with a couple of couple of drones right there. I will not make them bloody happy. <laughs> I won't be impressed about that, will I? I we'll be pretty safe if we just give them a bit of smoke. Rattle them downstairs. Lift this off. More drone cone. You girls are gonna get excited soon, aren't ya? I know, you've got the shits up. Look at you go. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's gonna be a crazy little season coming up, I think. Maybe they remember how shit last year was, they're just gonna get an early start. I reckon we're just gonna put this, we're just gonna take the super off. She's not up there. Pop that on the lip, and then we're going to put our cool little honeycombing machine in the middle. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> and if if you're watching this, it's this was technically called under supering. So they've got the honey on the top, and the bees in the middle, and then you put your new super. But this is technically, well, I guess it's a super. It's a little short ass super. As it's a fancy ass super. It's got little round supers in it. Oh, hang on. Queen excluder would be good, otherwise we'll have this full of bloody bee brood. <laughs> and that'd be crap. But while we're going to depart, we might as well have a look and see what sort of trouble they're in. See what she's doing. We'll have a bit of a peekaboo as to what she's up to. What do you reckon? What do you want her and the girlfriends have been doing over winter? Probably out at the disco. Nobody goes to discos anymore, do they? You youngins out there wouldn't even know what a bloody disco was. Look at all that shit on the bottom. Holy crap. There's some breeding going on. You lot are going to go off your tits, aren't you? Oh my god, lad. <laughs> Heavens of Betsy. Look at that lot. <laughs> they won't know what to think of that. They'll be all bloody confused, won't they? <laughs> This is the trouble with these, these boxes have got a big gap at the bottom. Okay, don't get too shitty bums. Look at that for some laying pattern. Holy gosh. She's a good girl. Getting all excited, I don't know where she is though. So next season, 
we'll split these up and we'll have to requeen them all and away we go again so we keep all this nice bloodline going so actually at the at the conference the other other week well month or whenever the hell that was hell the time goes quick they were talking from the avocado growers perspective and they were saying in the avocado orchards they expect the queen to only be one season old so is that she'll be really flat out because apparently avocados a uh, got well they want them to be hunting the pollen and the nectar so that was actually has to be a really strong young young queen well that was very interesting she was a really good presenter the young lass i can't remember what her name was but it's interesting how every all the industries have different criteria i mean almonds they want eight frames of bees covered and some brood going so they want to get some pollen to keep up to good work and the avocados want something else Oh, it's very interesting. Some well, once the drones hatch, then they'll run around in the hive for a little while, and then within about a week or so, they'll start going out on mating flights, and then they'll find some other queens. And the cool thing is that the, the bees are smart enough, as I said before, that the, well, I'm not supposed to say as I said before, because apparently that's a very bad thing to say on TV shows, or internet shows. What are we on? YouTube shows. Anyway, so not as I said before, but drones actually get hatched out before, so then they can get orientated. And then when the queens hatch out, they can fly off, and they go to a mating site, wherever that happens to be around here, and they do the hanky-panky, and then the queen comes back, and the drones drop dead, so that's bad luck to be a boy if you're a bee, I reckon. But anyway, you'd hope it's a good one, wouldn't you, if you only get one. We'll just pop our queen excluder in the middle. So that should keep them down the bottom. So then we'll pop our little honeycomb maker upper in the middle. So that can go on there like that. Put our super back on top of that. Ooh. If a bloke could remember his cap bar lift, he wouldn't have had to done that by man, would he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. 101 problems for the inexperienced. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Put that back on the top so they don't build straight and right completely into the roof cavity, which they have been doing anyway, but still, it's all good. <laughs> Pop our lid back on. Oh, golly, they said. They said, what the hell? Anyway, that'll all be very interesting. We'll see what happens. Well, it'll take them a little while to fill that out, because um, although it's spring, so there's a bit of stuff around, who knows? We might take some of these away a bit later on so there's not so much competition as well get my hat out of my face and um yeah that should be very interesting to see whether how they get on with this i'm looking forward to it i don't mind a bit of honeycomb it's pretty cool straight off the straight off the box so as you can tell by the sunshine and the warmness of the day well, you probably can't tell that it's a warm day, but the sun's shining and here we are. Spring has sprung, so it's time to sort of collect our feeders. This one of the girls, this is one of the ones we put the Cirrusel feeders in that we got from New Zealand. And we're just sort of having a bit of a review about them. I thought they were pretty bloody cruelly. Pretty bloody cool. There was probably only one thing on, not on this one, but on a different box that we had it on, was I'll show you the little, the little feeder bits which is no fault of the actual um, actual product, it's the fault of the operator. Oh, I think the product's bloody awesome. The girls are thinking it's so good they're still stuck to it. And as you can see, they've cleaned all the sugar up pretty nicely, left a little bit of crust here. But the operator error was one of these little cool little lips. Hang on, I'll do this one so you can see. These little bits that slip in, some bloody ruffian didn't quite have it in there right it was just to the side so the girls could actually run run in a bit more and i had a few that got drowned it wasn't terrible it wasn't ridiculously bad but yeah so but what a cool idea so they can drink on the come up here and they're, they're obviously behind the white plastic and the sugar's in here as you would have seen and they're having a bit of a feed or they're inside of here having a feed very bloody clever so yeah, no, I think I think it's a bloody good idea. 
And the other thing is, it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to fill up them in high feeders. So that's like with the bottle and trying to get that organized and trying to spill shit all over everybody, getting the ants excited. So if you actually want one of these feeders, go with our friends at Cirrusel. And don't forget to mention that the Bush Bee Man sent you along, because you never know, they might send me some other shit to try it if they reckon I did a good job.